safe at last. We are here with Teresa and I think it's her uncle, the miller, outside, not far from Ratte. Uh, I picked up stuff from my box there, where I'll just show you, that's all my, my things, some of which are still stolen, some of which are no longer stolen. I had something to eat. Now the guy's waiting outside to speak to us, but before I do, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that she's asleep. I can't do it. I need a lock pick. All right. Well, okay. That's all right. Let's wash. Make ourselves look a bit more presentable. And we've finished with all the long, long cutscenes for a while, anyway. Um, I'm not going to rush back. Okay. Sorry, Matt. Okay. Look, we were way up here doing all stuff round about there. We started in Scalitz, ran down the town, but we're right down here now. And as you can see, there's a lot of map. There's none of it discovered, really. Um, so we're going to have to do that. But we are safe. We are safe. Well, this is Ratte. We'll explore that eventually, but like I say, but not right away. Because I want to help this guy out and figure out what's going on a bit more. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter, who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? And what could you need from me? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else and not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right. But somewhere else, I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. Unconventional sounds really good. Tell me more. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojcik, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet, along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? It's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body. Only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? <laughs> Okie dokie. I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. <laughs> okay, let's see what else there is. Uh, well, okay, uh, I need to speak to him a lot, or as a lot of people a lot, to increase my speech, 
just speaking to them does help just a bit but more challenging the better so i'm going to be doing that a lot but i'm not i won't force you to watch all of it but you can watch some of it here he is where can i find a shovel where can i find a shovel there's one right outside leaning against the cart and can you tell me let's find out can you tell me about the scallets folk yeah what's happened what about the scallets Where? folk god sent them to punish us for our sins they don't work they just idle around begging and you want to keep a close eye on your belongings when they're around i'll be glad to see the back of them so they're all here what do you think about what happened? What do you think about everything that's happened? I don't concern myself with the doings of my betters. But this mess isn't good for business. Them two brothers should sort things out between themselves without dragging us into it. I don't give a damn who's king, but that usurper from Hungary has gone too far. Okay, and have you heard anything about these Cumans? Do you know anything about those Cumans? The heathen scum that Sigismund brought here. Why do you even ask? You've seen with your own two eyes what they're capable of. Okay, that's all. That's all. But lock picking. Teach me lock picking. Try unlocking this trunk. Okay. You're Easy. a damn hand now. <laughs> Make something out of you yet. Remember, this trunk's only for practice. With real locks, yeah. Quite a few more times, right? Right, he's just wandered off, so I'm gonna do some lock picking of this until I cannot repeat it anymore. Yeah, I've got a mod. I, I will have to pick locks properly as well. It's not they're not all like this. So I don't know how many times you do this. I think it's I'm going to make a guess, about 10. And you can see what's happening. Stealth is levelling up. Everything's levelling up here. This is really cool. <laughs> and lock picking is going to be important because I like I want to play that sort of character. Sneaking and lock picking. I'm not interested in picking pockets. It might be necessary for a main quest. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Oh, I want to finish that one. Now, no, there's another one in here. So we just do that. There's nobody around. And I'll take everything from my host. And uh, we've got deer skin to take to the courier. So I think what I'll do is I'll hang on to all the deer skins and anything else I find that I think might sort of be quest worthy. And there he is. So he said the spade is like here. There we go. Right, there's the spade. There is another one where we're going. I'm just going to drop off some, some junk in my box as well. Now then. What have I got? I've got another bludgeon. I don't I don't want to carry more than I really, really have to. I've got my bow, but I haven't really got much by way of arrows. Um, food, because it's going to go off anyway. Uh, right, I've got 15 lock picks. I don't want the take these. I don't want to take these. Eventually, I'll be able to. I've got eight. That's fine. I'll be able to sell them eventually, but I don't. Not yet. Well, let's just see if he's got anything else to say. Jesus Christ be praised. And uh, no. so yeah, lots and lots of this. But it's all necessary, it's all needed, so it's just going to happen. You're going to have to watch some of it as I just stop to to pick stuff as we go. Anyway, <laughs> some of it, not all of it. So we go in there. I'll put a little marker there because there we are. Um, that makes my life easier. And let's go. So it's such a relief to get out of those, um, um, what, do we, what do you call them? Cutscenes, cutscenes, all that talking for the main quest and things like that. The more you gather plants, by the way, then all that happens really is well, the main thing that, that happens within that skill is that you level up, it, it, it increases the radius. So when you pick a flower, I mean, now look, if I pick that sage, 
I'll just pick that one. That one, though, I would have picked both if my skill was a bit... Oh, there we are, herbalism. If that was a bit higher. So let's see if I get both of these thistles, for example. No, I'm still still on a single thing. But let's... I've, I've got... Have I got anything to like level up? Yes, I have skills. Lock picking. Um, repair man. What's these? Um, broken. Okay. And your lock picks will be. I'll just take. I'll take. Um, I'll take that. Okay. And I've got. I've got main level thing. Hang on. So. Uh, Wanderer. I think that was the one I took on another character. That's right. Beds are are good. It respects. It. it doesn't matter how bad a bed is. Some are very uncomfortable, but I will still get the benefit. I've got strength. Uh, uh, we've got this one. Carrying dead or unconscious bodies won't cost you any stamina. Blocking an opponent strikes with your shield will cost you thirty percent less stamina. I'm going to take that one. No, I'll take that one first because I don't know. I don't think. I don't think I'm going to be fighting a lot to begin with. Oh, I've got... I've got two, but I can take them both. So, um... No, I can't. No, no, no. Okay, speech. Now, I've got these. I don't know... I mean, it's like, if your speech stat will rise by, by plus three, talking to commoners. Or, when talking to high... You can't shoot... You can't have both. So, I'm going to go for this one for now. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just I'll think about it I'll think about it and I'll make a choice later so let's let's go on and we'll get that guy yeah running all, all up your vitality um, picking flowers that's what I was going to say something about picking flowers so by picking flowers your skill will level up in that and eventually it's not herbman it's um, which one is it where's it going is it herbalism it's not alchemy, it's herbalism. You get this, which gives you extra two, a two, plus two charisma bonus when you're carrying the right number of flowers. And you can sell them, if you. that's one thing, of course. And this, this one, though, herb picking activity will add experience to your strength stat, too. And that's what I'm very interested in. Because right now, what's my strength now? It's really low. It's two. And I can't use all the weapons at the moment. Very few, actually, and just like one or two. These are the handy ones, marigolds. Like, uh, oh, it's sage first. So the sage, but this, these orange ones are really handy, marigolds, because I can use that with nettles, which are like fifteen to the dozen, as they say. These things. So no, it's not a nettle. Anyway, they they are. I promise you, they really are everywhere. Nettles and marigolds, and I can make health potions. And if I want to, I can sell them, which is really really nice. So as you can see, I'm just running past them. I will eventually come back and pick them. But uh, like I said before, I'm not going to make you watch that. I think it must be really, really boring. But never mind. That's all right. And what's this? A conciliation thing? or It's a shrine. And it's a list of people. Don't know what that is. Am I going the wrong way? Well... Not exactly, but I'll take the short route, the quick route. So I was wondering, is can you do this thing without doing the main quest? I like the I like sandboxing. That's a that's a thing I like a lot. And so if I can do this without having to do the main quest, or at least be able to choose for myself whether I do it or I don't, that'd be great. I know to get. A horse called Pebbles. I would have to. Um, yeah, to get the Pebbles, I would have to do part of the main quest. But I don't know if I can just buy a horse. If I get the money for it. I mean, I know. I found some really nice places to steal stuff from. In Ratte. Mostly the Hunter. But, I mean, there, there are quite a lot of places, actually, where you can. Oh, I can't get up there. Why not? Where's where's the? So anyway, I'd like to be stealing stuff and selling it and that sort of thing. There we go. Up we go. Up we go. Oh come on, mate! Really? He's bouncing backwards. We'll go to the end. Here we are. That. 
No. For goodness sake. What about... Oh, goodness me. Please. Please. Yes, here we are. Right. So what are we doing here? <laughs> Did I pick up the spade? If you forget the spade, there's one down there leaning on the fence. He said he'd pick it up. So we just need to find a grave. Here we are. Here's the gallows. Just, um, did I show you where Ratty? Oh, sorry, I forgot. Oh, God, there's Ratty. Right. So I'd like a horse, but I, what I don't want is to... Um, is... Well, that's all. I, I want the horse, but I, I don't really... Not interested in the main quest very much. I suppose I, I think I will do it, but I want to spend plenty of time looking around, exploring, doing side quests, but doing, well, all kinds of things, in fact. So let's, uh, here we are, here's the grave. We'll start digging. I had problems Oh, Christ, wound, what a fucking stink. Nothing on the left hand. The right? Oh, uh, shit, there's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that ring? Nothing. <coughs> no ring oh, at all, so we're going to have to... want to puke. Yes, we, we just go back. For this. Oh, shut up. We'll just go back. Oh, there's Vitality. That's from running. This kind of makes me think of the, the um, Elder Scrolls. What was... Was it... Um... Okay, I want to know where this path goes. There was the, one of the Elder Scrolls games, wasn't there? It's where you, you just walk a lot and level up a, one of the skills. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know quite. Let's... Anyway, I want to know where the bottom of this is because I, I, I was looking for it earlier and I couldn't find it. Um, the path up to the executioner's house. I'm going to need to know where that is for more than one visit. Uh, is this it? Ah, right. It's right behind that place up some rocks. Right, and I can see where we are. Right, okay, anyway. Ah, oh, mate. Are you going to complain? <laughs> People tend to. Okay. Dandelions and nettles, the key to prosperity. I'm looking forward to uh, burglarizing, or whatever the word is, rate. It's something I enjoy. I have managed to track down couple of places that or at least one place really that's worth visiting in to to do that to steal stuff but you need the millers to be able to sell anything stolen so what the hell? um that's that will take a a little while i just have to make him fit getting friendly with me get another miller not too far away they they will they seem to have 1000 ish gold each um so far that's what i've found so, and it takes a little while for them to replenish. So, if you're stealing stuff, you really need to be able to. How did I just discover that? Yeah, so you need as many of them as possible. So, I'll get two or three, and at least this one. Hello, Mr. Peshek. There was no ring. There was a corpse in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. If the ring wasn't on the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried the body. Well, I can see where this is going. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the dead. It'd be better to pinch it from his house. Fine. That's okie dokie. Great. My All thing. right. I'll go and find that ring. It should be in a trunk somewhere in the house. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past a lock? Get past a lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. I mean the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly and with sensitivity, like popping a young maiden's cherry. I have some experience. 
All right. I'm glad to hear you're not as clumsy as you look. Here's a lockpick for the job. Right, I'm going to check I've got that lockpick. I have. How many have I got? 20. Oh, I'll be fine. What's the time as well? Time is... Oh, have I got... Yeah, I think I've got time to do that. Right, we've got to run back again. Gathering plants along the way, of course. Where's the... Ah, here we go. I will show you there's okay a couple of things all right there's belladonna that's a herb you need to pick and it's what you make save your schnapps with save your schnapps being uh you use one every time you save the game so that that's uh, the save your schnapps and how to get that i'll show you where you go to get the belladonna i will i want to show you because it's something i had problems finding uh until looking on the internet for it so here we are on the internet i will include it but that won't be today it's not this bit of the map it's well it's not far but uh it's it's not not this bit so yeah so i'll show you where that is if you if you keep watching now you will see how you get this executioner's uh, bit done uh, to get the ring off the executioner without any any problems because it can be again it's one of those things if you don't really know how to do it you might need a bit of help to figure out what to do it's not it's really very very easy that's that's the thing and i think i might as well be showing you something as as just playing the game you know these things are just things it took me a while to figure out and i've started several characters so i've managed to learn those things um during that time the so a couple of things i'll show you i don't know there are ways of doing it i suppose if you're kind of role playing a bit you can pick and choose so okay from the gallows gallows is right there okay sort of there so you've got a door on the side if you if you did, forgot your shovel there's one here look there's a shovel there you can pick that one up if you want to sneak in and get the stuff, which you can do at night, this is the time to do it. If you go run down this end, somewhere you can get in. Here it is. Okay. Uh, right, so from the beginning, okay, during the night he will go here, but not, um, not a lot, so obviously, so you can just wait for him to walk out if you really want to be like that about it then you can knock him out or or something um or while he's gone if you're quick because he does take a few minutes you can you can sort of run inside while he's there the dogs the dogs will wake up um the thing to do you can go behind here and just wait until it's dark you press t and, and wait until it's dark and then come out and um, just if you go what's over that? by the steps, you'll be fine. Hey, who's that? That's it. Or you can wait in there. It gets what's really going on about there? Whatever you do, but I'm just going to talk to him. So try and get him out of the house. Miller Peshak sent me. He's very sorry, but by mistake he didn't give you the full weight of flour last time. He says you should come and get the balance. That rogue. How much is it? Half a sack. That's nothing to sneeze at. It certainly isn't. I'll go there right away. Mm. I like his sword and so on. So here's the dogs. They don't bite you. They don't hurt you. They just kind of get in the way. Um, and make a lot of noise. See, so if you're trying to sneak in, don't bother. Now I'm going to look around here. I don't know if there's anything to steal. There's nothing I can see. That's the same with dogs everywhere in this game. They seem to be this one breed of dog, which is funny. Right, I'm gonna, here we are. We're in, so we're now trespassing. There we are. Now this one is very easy, so just pick it, and there's the dead man's ring. Right, now that's the what? quest that it done. This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a tin penny. Yeah. Okay, now let's have a look around. He's probably got more. Ah, this one, though. 
but a bit difficult. So I'll take all of that. And what else? Ah, there's another one. Uh, what's in here? I'll take all of that. I can sell it all. What's in here? Oh, have his lunch. <laughs> it'll be a while before we're back. We will come back again eventually. He'll have a quest for us, but just doing this won't interfere with that. So now we can run up here, we'll have a little wash, and run back to Miller Peshek and tell him we've managed to sort everything out and and do the and get the ring. And that's all. I am really, really overfed, aren't I? Oh well. Not quite sure what that... Oh, it seems to have lowered my stamina. I don't know. I haven't been up that much overfed before. I think that's probably it did before. By a bit, but not a lot. Yeah. So, I've seen videos saying, Oh, you sneak into this, you sneak it. Is that the one you eat? No. That's one of the alchemy things. Don't know why I bothered getting that one. It's nothing really very special about it. It's just, um, well, he's, it's just a mushroom. It's just a mushroom. There. So we're leveling up nicely. Oh, where's, where's the, is this, can I get up here perhaps? Yes. And this guy, he, he's not going to get grumpy with me. He'll just, um, no, the executioner, he'll be quite okay with me. It's just that he needs to, um, to get out of the house. He'll be over here somewhere now. Hang on. Well, actually, that said, I think I mm, I am going to, if I see him, I'm going to get away from him. I don't want to, to have uh, any interruptions. Oh. I'll kick that fucker's ass. Oh, goodness me. Um... All right, um, right. Well, he's a bit unhappy with me, <laughs> but I don't think it will matter. Um, one of my other character, my one, well, one of my yeah, one of my other characters had no problem. Right. Well, anyway, ring. Um, I've got the ring. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the miller in Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you, and I'll have something for you soon too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. That's great. Right, that could be useful. You'll buy stolen goods from me. Oh, thanks for your trust. I'm sure that'll come in useful. Okay. Now, uh, tell me something about these other millers. I need to know where they are. Can you tell me something about the other millers? There's a couple of other fellows around here in my trade. Woodsek in Kohelnitz and Simon in Sasa. Woodsek in Tell me about Kohelnitz. Woodsek. He's young and hot-blooded with a short temper. But he's a fine fellow when you get to know him. His heart's in the right place and he's always willing to lend a helping hand. Unfortunately, he got himself into a feud with that usurer, the merchant Wolfram Pruder. A slimy bastard he is. And now they're sworn enemies. And Simon from Sasau. What about this Simon in Sasau? An odd one he is. A loner who don't talk much. But he's as dogged as a hunting hound once he gets his teeth into anything. He won't let go until he sees it through, even if he has to walk over dead bodies. Okay. Uh, about you. Tell me something about yourself. There's nothing much to tell. I was born at the mill, I live here, and I'll surely die here. But before I do, I've plenty of work to do, and I hope I live to see peace in this land again. Okay, well, I'm not enjoy I don't want to pickpocket. I know what you're going to say, why, but, uh, well, because uh, I just don't, don't want to. I like stealing stuff. Now let's get. I've got some stone and stuff in here to to sell. 
Right, so I'm pretty. Mo I think I'm carrying only carrying those things which um, I can s or I want to sell. So let's. Uh, where is he now? He's over there. He's going to move, and I'm going to not catch up with him, aren't I? Look at this. So my I'm a hundred and what hundred and sixty percent capacity. Right now I'm overfed. <laughs> very 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 slow. Okay, come on. How much money has he got then? I think it's usually a thousand. And yeah. Right. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. Good. Now there's that map. I think I might have one of those, but let's let's first have a look at this. I've got that one I want to sell. So I can always sell it another time, so we'll just haggle. <coughs> Can we do something about the price? Sure, why not? Right, let's go for 910. Aye, that would do it. Oh, I could have gone for more. There we go, so I've now got 926.3 groschen. There is a, what time is it? Is it, maybe I can do this, maybe? No, it's too late in the day. I, there's a guy I've got to pay off up there, and you know what I could actually I'll tell you what I could do. I could go and burglar burglarize the the hunter. That might be fun. Right, first off, <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's put that um, thing in here. Where are we? Inventory other. There we are. Um, uh, okay, look. I, wait a minute. Look, I can come. I can do this another time. I'm gonna say goodbye for a minute because I'm just gonna gonna be um, finishing episode here. But in the next episode, I think we'll go in and we'll we'll go to the hunters lot thing at night and and steal this stuff. And I'll show you the nice easy way of getting out of or well, the best way to get out of rat egg because there is a best way, which I discovered for myself. Is she? She's asleep. <laughs> hey. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.